Earlier today, we got some big news that Joe Gibbs Racing will be allowing his NASCAR Cup Series drivers to compete in dirt dirt racing throughout the year next year and into the future uh, and allowing them to compete in other non-NASCAR events. I wrote this up over at stockcarreport.com. You can find the link in the description below. Uh, so Gibbs uh, made the announcement that they had changed the policy uh, while speaking with The Athletic. He said that he always preferred driver's focus remain on racing in NASCAR. However, given three of his four drivers, including or the, which include Christopher Bell, Ty Gibbs, and Chase Briscoe, want to race on dirt, Gibbs revealed he, quote, felt it was fair to come up with a process to consider those opportunities. He added, we sort of talk things over to come up with a process by which they can re request to run certain races. If they get approval from everyone they need on our competition side, then they are free to run the race. That includes dirt, but also potentially other forms of racing. Obviously, we've seen plenty of NASCAR Cup Series drivers compete in various forms of racing uh, throughout the last couple of years. Uh, most notably, we saw a bunch of them compete in the Cars Tour at uh, that All-Star race or leading up to the All-Star race at North Wilkesboro. Many of them go and compete in super late models during the Snowball Derby, which will be happening later this year. It happens in uh, December. Uh, we, obviously, Kyle Larson is known for his dirt racing. We know Christopher Bell is a dirt racer. Tyler Reddick is a dirt racer. Dirt light models, etc. cetera. Uh, we've seen uh, Chase Briscoe uh, get in in, uh, in sprint cars as well. So uh, obviously, lots of NASCAR Cup Series drivers compete in all uh, forms of racing. We, we saw Carson Hosevar in a super dirt light model last year at the Dome. We've seen Ross Chastain hop in a super dirt light model. Uh, so, I mean, the list goes on and on and on of these guys competing in other uh, other forms of motorsports. Uh, but uh, now we're getting to see the, we're going to get to see the Joe Gibbs guys, uh, I guess, race a little bit more uh, on the dirt. As far as their reactions, this is what Christopher Bell had to say. Uh, he said, I was definitely caught off guard by the change of policy. I was super shocked, but with Chase coming on board and Ty growing an interest in dirt racing, it's nice we have the majority of our team aligned with it. Now, Briscoe shared that when he was in discussions to replace Martin Truex Jr., uh, Gibbs was open to him competing in dirt races, given he's a team owner and has run a limited schedule in the past. He said this, I could tell it wasn't a hard no, but it wasn't something at the time they were super thrilled about. It didn't feel like the door was shut completely. There was definitely a crack, but I didn't know in my first year getting there, I would still be able to go do stuff if I wanted to. So according to Jeff Gluck at The Athletic, it's likely that most requests will get approval unless it's a high-risk race. And this is the example he gave, such as running at Eldora Speedway in a non-wing sprint car, which offers less protection in the event of a flip. To that point, Bell said, it's refreshing knowing I'll be able to do whatever I want to do. I'm super excited to reconnect with my Dirt fan base and see everybody at a Dirt track soon. He also believes this new policy could improve my performance on Sundays. Of note, uh, does not appear that Christopher Bell nor Chase Briscoe will be competing in the Chili Bowl Nationals. Uh, so that those are two less competitors that Kyle Busch will have because he did announce that he will be competing in the Chili Bowl uh, Midget Nationals earlier this month. Uh, what is interesting is like kind of the timing of this, obviously, they do have Chase Briscoe coming in, but even he said he didn't think that it would be in his first year with Joe Gibbs, and that has now changed. I'm wondering if uh, Joe Gibbs is a little salty at NASCAR, obviously, with what happened with Christopher Bell at Martinsville and him not being allowed to advance into the Final Four and uh, being penalized uh, for what NASCAR deemed a safety violation. And that is maybe why he is moving uh, this policy or changing this policy. I wonder if that has anything to do with it or and maybe it allows him maybe to maybe expand uh, his racing endeavors potentially on to dirt. Uh, who knows? That could be something that uh, Joe Gibbs Racing might get into. And I think that would be a boon uh, for dirt racing in general if they do. Obviously, we know Toyota is heavily invested in, uh, in dirt racing with a number of up-and-coming drivers uh, coming through the dirt ranks. Um, so uh, I do find it interesting. The timing is really interesting to me. I'm not really sure what to make of it yet. Obviously, it could be just the fact that uh, they've got Briscoe, they've got Bell, and clearly Ty Gibbs is showing interest in dirt racing now, and that could be what uh, convinced him to change the policy. There could be some... Uh, some issues there with NASCAR. Obviously we know they've got the whole lawsuit going on. There's the drama after Martinsville, etc. 
So there could be something um, with that at play. I, I don't know. But uh, what do you guys make of this? I think this is obviously a good thing uh, for dirt racing in general. And I do think that uh, this will help these drivers, these, uh, these Joe Gibbs drivers. And uh, we see how well Kyle Larson does. And he's constantly in, uh, in some kind of car on the dirt, whether it's a sprint car, whether it's a midget, whether it's a super late model, he's out there. Uh, in a car getting seat time. And I think that is what Christopher Bell is kind of alluding to here when he says it could improve my performance on Sundays uh, because they are limited in their practice schedule now with the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, if you just get seat time, you're in a car, uh, you get that muscle memory, you you just get that experience. And it's kind of uh, hard to beat that experience uh, compared to someone maybe who's not getting that seat time uh, you just are at an advantage, maybe helps you with your reflexes, et cetera, helps you with your action time, uh, all kinds of positives, uh, that you can gain from just being in the car. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below and, uh, tell me where you think you're going to see Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, or Ty Gibbs, uh, in a dirt car first. I, I my money is they'll probably be in a sprint car, uh, before they get in a late model because that's usually what they drive. Maybe maybe Ty Gibbs gets in a late model first. We'll, who knows? Because um, I haven't really seen him was showing interest in, in the dirt stuff. So uh, maybe I just completely missed that. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below.